Hey folks, how you going? Skylight Pilot here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you guys weren't aware already of the fantastic Black Friday sales that are currently on, then you certainly will be now. Or Express Long Range System. It is one of the most popular radio link systems of 2021, which offer fantastic latency, excellent, awesome long range, and really, really good value for money. So check them out. This is the ELRSS module. I have done a review on it, so have a look at on the screen up there. Really simple, easy to use. If you have any trouble with it, drop me a message. I will help you out. That's not why we're here. Why we are here is to have a yarn about the fabulous little Twin Blade Beta FPV Meteor 75. This is probably, arguably, one of the best 1S whoops out there on the market. And a lot of people say it's an indoor unit, but I beg to differ, as you guys are going to see shortly. I'll put a couple of close-ups on the screen there of this cool little whoop. Quick chat about it, run through some text and specs, and we're going to have a fly. Meteor 75. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Let's go. Inside your neat little carry case, you will find a USB-C cable with a Beta FPV charging adapter here. We'll go straight to the 450 milliamp 1S's with their proprietary plug-on. This doubles up as a tester to see what voltage you're running, which is pretty cool. So 4.31 and 4.32. You can charge these both at the same time. That's no problem, but it will only output the voltage tester from the one point. So pretty simple. Just a matter of plugging in USB-C into your USB and off you go. Four spare props with this, which is pretty cool. Little screwdriver and a QR support card too. Really easy to bind, folks. It's just a matter of turning on your radio, which has your OpenTX. I have the Radio Master TX16 Plus here. You'll see the ELRS 2.4 gig system light up. If you don't have this picture here that you can see and you've previously done a firmware upgrade, that picture will be gone. So you need to revert back to the factory firmware on here. And I will leave a link down below as to where you can go to get that. If you flash this, we'll update the firmware from the configurator directly you'll put the wrong firmware on because as at the time of recording this the firmware wasn't up to date all you need to do i have already bound this you'll see a bind button just at the back there of the flight controller the opposite side where your usb is you can either push that bind button or you can hook this up to beta flight and type in the bind command so myself all i did was push that button and whilst that button is pressed I would power it up, long press the joystick and I would press that all the way down to bind and then I would long press bind and count to about five and you are done and dusted, good to go. Simple as that guys, really easy to bind. 19,500 kV motors and apparently that's only on the ELRS version. Looking at around three to four minutes flight time again I will test it out for you guys shortly. Let's put it on the scales see what it weighs in at with a battery attached. 36.7 36.79 grams with the battery and 24.3 without the battery. Looking at the quad, nice design, quite flexible ducts here, and it has a really nice hard plastic canopy here, so that's going to take a knock fairly well. Camera is just flush with the mount there, so 
be careful if you do have a crash uh, if it lands on its roof it's going to be fairly protected I do like these motors these whoops here if you guys don't know if you do for some reason destroy a motor really easy to replace you just grab your new motor pull out the plug push in the plug three screws jobs done plug and play really oops plug and play really really nice to maintain USB micro at the back here like I said uh, bind plug at the front there I'm going to take it out into the field now have a fly around and give you guys my final thought see how long the 450 lasts for do a bit of a range test because we will be outdoors and my setup will be the 2.4 gig module I have on the back of my radio master of course you can get the ELRS system for your light radio 2 SE that is available too um, this is on sale this is on sale everything's on sale at the moment so if you are looking at getting one of these yeah make sure you do it the next day or two uh, the prices won't be this good again great little portable unit this is as well like I said it's got the ELRS system on it super easy to bind just a matter of pressing the bind button whilst powering it up and it'll bind to your whoop or your quad or whatever that's running the ELRS system so really really good idea links down below let's get outside let's see how far this Meteor 75 is gonna fly a few moments later okay like promised here we are out in the field with my Meteor 75 from Beta FPV ELRS 350 milliwatts guys so they do report this being a fantastic indoor whoop uh, however we're going to test out the outdoor capabilities today and we're going to see how far exactly we're going <laughs> to fly with this <laughs> 350 milliwatt VTX across the oval there I'm hoping we can get pretty close to the other side so that should answer some questions I'm certain the I'm certain that the ELRS system is going to do the job transmission wise uh, I don't have an issue with that at all but it will be great to test it and there does seem to be a dog over there barking at me so hopefully I don't get attacked whilst I've got my goggles on <laughs> okay let's fire up and see how far this 1S little ripper goes let's go okay showing 25 milliwatts of power which is correct okay 350 milliwatts not too much flight time guys <laughs> quickly see how far we go with the ELRS system this cool little whoop and I think that man has started to go to the middle of the oval so let's just sneak over here yep there he is over there All right let's move right over here I do have a couple of 1S's so not too concerned I do waste this one a little bit okay let's nip down here guys yeah well you can see how far I've gone already folks um, not so much as a fog haze yet it's pretty good I think I'm gonna get nearly all the way to the end of the oval there which is really decent for let's face it what they describe as an indoor whoop <laughs> This is more of a long range whoop. Okay, I've gone as far as I want to go. Let's head back home. Well, what do you think about that guys? I am, I am uh, massively impressed. Let me tell you, I am really impressed. That went all the way to the other side. Um, like I said, absolutely no problem with the ELRS system as far as my transmission goes. 350 milliwatts of power and I can quite easily fly around this Wi-Fi infected club room without too much trouble at all. Have a look at that. What a heck of a lot of fun, folks. Yeah, 
And yes, I'm actually facing the wrong way too, so it's a nice little test for that VTX as well. I'm just in front of the car here, facing down towards the oval, so as you can see, if I was facing it, it would obviously be a bit better. What do you think folks? What do you think of that VTX? And I don't really want to land on top of those, however, you can have a little bit of a, a slow look. Really nice to control this is. Really smooth with those two bladers. Pretty cool. Uh, flight time, what are we on at the moment? Three minutes. Certainly haven't been super light on the sticks, so that's pretty good. People have been reporting three to four minutes of flight time, so we'll see how that goes as well. Okay, low battery, yeah, let's head home. Hey, what do you think guys, about four minutes of flight time, a little bit of a breeze too. I went all the way over to the oval there, and wasn't even looking at breaking up VTX. Uh, yeah, quality unit folks, absolute quality, really nice to fly. Let's put the other one S in. Okay, let's do a bit of a hand takeoff here. This could go terribly, horribly wrong. Let's do another range test, guys, and I'm going to go all the way past the oval now and down near the road and see how we go. Let's make sure I'm recording. That wouldn't be very good. Okay, 350 milliwatts. Very good. You can hear a helicopter. Starting to break up ever so slightly now. I'm actually past, you can see where I am, I'm all the way up the end there. I certainly wouldn't want to go much further than that, but as you can see guys, it is more than capable of doing so without a doubt. Let's have a sneak around here. Dodge those power lines. I'm going to go completely out of line of sight now, behind these club rooms over here. So this is going to be a really interesting test because I can't even see this from where I'm standing. As you can see, yeah, it's handling it really well. It's starting to break up a little now. Need to be a bit careful. Someone on the cricket nets there. Well, super impressive guys. Out for those power lines. Let's head back home, mate. This is really good, guys. Really, really good. Absolutely loving this thing. And back home again. Quick shot of tennis. Might just spin myself around. I'm completely out of line of sight now, folks. This thing has fantastic range. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, now I'm getting a bit concerned. Starting to break up now, which isn't surprising. You see exactly where I am. <laughs> which is right through those crosshairs there. Completely out of sight. Wow.
Um, yeah, a little bit of a bounce through there. <laughs> okay, low battery. See if we can finish off with a bit of line of sight. And this thing has out outstanding VTX on this, folks. For a 1S, 350 milliwatts. Absolutely awesome. Meteor 75, 1S, 350 milliwatts. Great outdoor whoop and really, really good indoor whoop. Quality stuff. Thanks for stopping by. Drop us a comment, smash on that thumb, and remember if you want one, grab one pretty soon because these are selling really cheap at the moment. See you next time, guys. Bye for now.